hizo mashamba zenu tutazivamia na wenye hawana mashamba wapate mashamba Kenya hii. Musifikiri ati wananchi wa kawaida ndio watapoteza mali. Even you you will pay a price if you continue to instigate violence and bloodshed in this country. After making the remarks, the majority leader in the National Assembly Kimani Shungwa has denied ever inciting members of the public to invade Northland City, a property of the family of former president Rukinyata. The Kikuyu MP saying he was only passing a message from the supporters. If you listen to that clip I was very particular. I addressed none other than Uhuru Kenyatta because I am a ground operative. I listen to what is on the ground. The staunch member of the ruling UDA party has however welcomed police investigations to establish the matter. Kama Kemani Shongwa alihusika mimi wanajua kwangu nyumbani hapa Kikuyu, wanajua ofisi yangu hapa, wanajua ofisi yangu Kikuyu. Mimi niko tayari to account for every minute of my time. The Kenya Kwanza MPs accompanying the majority leader alluding that the opposition staged the invasion with intent to spoil the reputation of the government. Curiously, the home of two former presidents that is heavily guarded <coughs> didn't have a single policeman. Why is nobody asking themselves that question? The Kenya Kwanza Battalion also calling out the Azimio leader Raila Odinga for violence and destruction of property during the demos. For how long shall Raila Odinga continue to lead, read from the same script over and over again? Go to an election, lose, cause chaos, go to the table and find your way to power. It's unfortunate towards the end of the day last evening that a mosque and two churches were destroyed. This clearly reminds us of what happened in 2007. And I'm here to plead with the religious leaders not to give in to the false demands that these people bring to us. Give us in mind, uh, K24, Nairobi.